Welcome back to EduSkills OED Made Easy. Our mission is to make you fall in love with OED. If you're watching this on YouTube, kindly consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like our work and please share to your contacts so that we reach out to maximum number of OED aspirants, especially those who are financially struggling to crack OED. That is the mission of EduSkills. And as of now, today we are going to deal with uh, listening. The listening practice step by step and a good many of them when they have come back with a low score i asked them did you do the seventh step they said never they did and seventh step is the most important one which 95 plus people neglect i've been teaching this again and again any listening that you do especially in the initial stages you have to go through these steps step one do the test under exam conditions means if a part A has 15 minutes, you have to complete in 15 minutes. Maybe you have not completed 20 questions. You have completed only 12 questions. It's fine. Stop it there. Keep an alarm and stop. And out of, you see, refer to the key, then you understand out of 12, you have only seven points, right? Uh, seven answers, correct? Cool. Seven is your score. Enter in the self-assessment form. Then continue doing whatever time you want to. Then the refer key and identify the mistakes, okay? So do the test under exam condition means within the given time, then refer the key and identify the mistake. Then record your score on self-assessment form. Step four, so step one is do the test under exam conditions. Step two, refer the key and identify the mistakes. Step three, record your score on self-assessment form. Step four, listen to the audio again and try to identify the answers and related strategies. Don't touch the script at the fourth stage. Listen to the audio again and try to identify the answers and related strategies. Uh, now you know already the key and what are the mistakes you made. Step five, listen to the audio plus read the script plus mark the answers and highlight the related strategies. I said multitasking. Listen, read, and write. All these three things should be practiced simultaneously at step five. Step six, detailed analysis of the audio and script to understand the strategies involved. Detailed analysis of the audio and the script. Listen to the audio and say, I could not may, uh, go through that analysis today because it takes a long time. Now you have to listen to the accent, tone, stress. It should be done when they say should, there is a stress there. You can clearly make it out in the intonation, tone of the voice, uh, tone and the voice of the uh, speaker. And step three, detailed analysis of the audio and script to understand the strategy. Step seven, analytically listen to the same audio repeatedly for a week. You can do other practices, listening practices, but one task, the same one, which you started on the first day of the week, repeatedly analytically listen to the same audio repeatedly for a week. Then definitely you will understand because already you know what are the strategies, what are the mistakes you made, what are the accents. You repeatedly listen to it every day at least once. That seventh step is very important. So listening practice step by step. Step one, do the test under exam conditions. Step two, refer the key and identify the mistakes. Step three, record your score on self-assessment form. Step four, listen to the audio again and try to identify the answers and related strategies. Step five, listen to the audio, read the script, mark the answers and highlight the related strategies. Step six, retail, detailed analysis of the audio and script to understand the strategies involved. So step seven, analytically listen to the same audio repeatedly for a week. I want a volunteer to repeatedly post this at least every day to take this screenshot and post this in the main platform, okay? Or anywhere else you want to. Hope you will, someone will do that. Do it listening. Okay, thank you. Who is that? Sumi Pratap. Okay, Sumi Pratap, thank you.